So in the March issue, we're doing a cover thematic on the Liberal Revival. Uh, we found it quite remarkable that at their convention uh, in Ottawa in January, that there was so much energy and uh, optimism about a party that's fundamentally in, in a place it's never been before, third place, sitting in the far corner of the House of Commons. You wouldn't know it uh, by that convention. They were look more like the official opposition. There was energy, there was optimism about the future. Uh, 3,400 people paid their own way to Ottawa and paid their accommodation uh, to a, a convention in the middle of a snowstorm. A third of them were youth. Um, and uh, so we decided to do a package on that, uh, kind of on the spot, actually. It was so impressive. And so we have uh, uh, Bob Ray's closing speech as our verbatim. It was a tremendous uh, crowd pleaser. He brought 3,400 people to their feet. And we have uh, a next generation voice in, in Zach Pakin, a McGill student who ran for a chair of the Policy Council, who, by the way, is the son of Steve Pakin of TVO, which kind of proves that the apple never falls far, falls far from the trees. He's a very talented young man. But we also have other voices, such as Martha Hall Finley, a former MP, who says the Liberals should be moving neither left nor right but forward. And we have a, a senior party strategist, such as John Duffy, David Hurley, and Steve McKinnon, who offer their thoughts on where the liberal revival, uh, where the f liberal future lies, if they find a, find a pathway first back to Stornoway for their leader, and eventually to 24 Sussex, and sitting at the right-hand side of the speaker.